Hello everyone, and welcome back to As Far As The Eye, where we are here with the Awe Tribe as they frantically rush about trying to gather up whatever scraps of wood and branches and bits of tree that they possibly can so that we can try to get ourselves across the chilly path that awaits us to the next halt before a whole bunch of bad events are about to happen. And even though it seems like a small thing, the worst thing that's about to happen is in another six days the path that we need to take in order to escape this area and get a little bit closer to the sanctuary of the eye is actually going to start crumbling and become even more difficult to traverse and I just really don't know if we're gonna be able to have enough wool to be able to get out of here in time so I'm slightly worried about that and we are going to need to have um, escaped before before those six days are up i'm pretty sure i'm hoping we can get just 100 more wood because if the path becomes 20 percent more difficult i just i mean i guess we could technically end up with enough wood to be able to get out of here but i really worry about us having enough wool all right i guess there's enough wool maybe i shouldn't worry too much but I don't know, that just seems like a lot of extra resources we're suddenly going to have on top of trying to manage food and everything else. Mm -hmm. And then in eight, oh, and in eight days, a thunderstorm is coming. Never mind, we definitely need to get out of here. I think Irene Mo, our wonderful druid, who has been watching over the Awe Tribe for so long, is saying that soon it will be time to flee. So hopefully we'll be able to do just that. Um, I mean, worst comes to worst. Actually, I wonder, Noen, who is actually assigned over here? All right, Pepkin is. I wonder if I could actually put down somewhere nearby our market and see if we could oh can i put the mark i can put the market on the hill <gasps> this might actually save us friends okay this is very exciting we're gonna put down the market and we're gonna see if we can trade away some of our extra resources to frantically get enough wood to be able to leave this beautiful but very small area before the thunderstorm arrives to burn down the forest and jungle to chase away the peeps so we wouldn't even be able to gather their wool yes this would be very bad <laughs> So we need to get out of here like in the next six days uh, at least. So let's see if we, okay, yeah. Yeah, we need to get out of here within the next week. So hopefully that will happen. There's also going to be an eclipse occurring soon. Great. Hopefully, hopefully, oh, come on, come on, guys. We need to get out of here before the path is too damaged. Please, please, please. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh my gosh, we have just enough. <laughs> just enough, just as the frozen path. They literally returned with all of that wood at the very last moment. But just as this chilly path is about to become even more frozen and difficult to traverse, at the last minute, we have been able to bring home all of that wood. I have never been so proud of our little pupils before. Irene Mo, I feel, is just nodding his great, beautiful glowing green antlers in satisfaction of the hard work that the whole tribe has just done. So let's go ahead and see what we want to bring with us. I actually think we can pack a lot of extra stuff this time, so maybe we can bring everything. If I was going to pack it all up, like the sawmill, the cookhouse, which is always so awkwardly shaped, um, if I was going to pack up the dispensary, let's see. Let's go ahead and, and see what we can pack first. All right. I think that we'll go ahead and maybe carry the sawmill how many which one takes up the most tiles one two three four five six here we'll go ahead and we will have uh there we go we'll have our engineer go ahead and carry the cookhouse which i'm sure nyan is going to be very happy about since she really loves making sure that her precious cookhouse is fine let's pile on as much food as we can possibly bring and we'll see what else we're able to bring with us. I'm so glad we have even more pack animals. Apparently the different pack animals can carry different types of food uh, or different types of resources because each one has different stacking abilities, which I think is pretty cool. 
And I am glad we have so many extra ones. We have five pack animals total, if you think about it. And this guy can actually carry a whole bunch of our food for us too. And then let's go ahead. We've got more food here. And then we have a whole bunch of backpacks that can carry some of the wool. And then we've got even more pepkin that we could bring with us, which would be a very useful. So pepkin will go in first and then food. And then we can actually store some of the herbs. There we go. We have some of the meat, which none of the little ones can carry, unfortunately, but all right, let's see if I can move some things around somewhat. All right, so we can actually carry a lot more than I thought we would be able to. Do I want to take any of the stone with me? I mean, this is a nice big lot of stone and that would be very nice, but we can get a lot more stone quickly. Ironically, I can carry the steel and the wood with me. <laughs> okay, what else, what else? Let's see. And we'll just have to leave behind a little bit of game. We can actually take every single one of the spices with us. Curses, and it's too bad we can't have... Yeah, it's too bad we can't have... Can this go in this direction? Nope. Nope. This is, <laughs> this is the awkward shape that we need to do these things in. Okay, hang on, I'm curious. Maybe I can get the cookhouse fit up here? just so and then oh look at that yes all right so i managed to we could either choose to bring the meat or let's bring the stone because stone is so difficult to grab and ta-da all right let's not waste another second i hate to leave behind that beautiful aura that we have of the golden corn but we need to rush across the crumbling chili bridge we're gonna go ahead and leave and we did it! We left the small rainforest and we're at the big marsh! It's the moment of truth, friends. Now we need to decide. Do we go across the frozen cliff, which would require thousands of wool, or like over a thousand wool, over a thousand stone, and hundreds of steel, to go to the big protected halt, which would then require even more of the stone and a lot of cereal and a whole bunch of, um, or, and a grower, or do we try to gather up over 1,800 extra food? Do we try to gather up a ton of wisdom, end up at the big fertile land, and then only have a builder three on the way of feathers? <gasps> of course, we're gonna go the way of feathers. Look at that, we would just need a builder three, which we totally have. Let's zoom on, our expert builder. We're going to the big fertile land, friends. That's what it's gonna happen here. Now we just need to get a lot of knowledge and we need to get a lot of food. <gasps> And there is a protective aura. Yes, okay. We're gonna do this. Oh my gosh, look at how big this place is. Oh, this is wonderful. We're gonna we're gonna be able to make do with everything here. I can feel it in my bones. And there's already some flat places and already some places we can gather things. Ah, oh, I'm so relieved. <laughs> I was quite nervous about what could end up happening, uh, but I'm really relieved with what we've found. And let's go ahead, can I actually, I can actually make it so we could settle on a jungle. So we could go ahead and maybe put down like on this jungle and then have space around. So let's have Itona, our, our caravan, go this direction. <gasps> Look, it's another one of the fish auras. All right. And then we would have some spots where we could do some gathering. There's already a bunch of auras that we'll need to soothe, but we can totally handle that. And do I want to go any further? There's a ton of dispensaries and that's actually, or there's a ton of spices and that's actually what we really, really, really need for our dispensary. That's what I'm thinking about, the big dispensary that we have got. In fact, let's go ahead and move forward a little bit more. But that dispensary that we have is actually super important because it will allow us to gain a ton of knowledge from the abilities that are, from the ability that our druid has. All right, let's step forward a little bit more. Come on, my big old friend. Yes, okay, this looks like a nice spot because it's got a lot of clear area around it. It's got some pepkin, but we'll be fine. It's got some things that we can harvest. All right, I think this should be good. Was that more ideal? 
I mean, eventually we can clear out the jungles around here. So let's actually have our caravan settle right here. <gasps> Yay, and a pack animal! All right, settle one more, one more. And there's going to be rodents coming soon to eat the overflowing hordes of meat, which we don't have. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and we'll just settle right here. Ta-da! And we already have another new pack animal added in just like that. We're safe! We are safe. Hopefully, we will be able to take care of the auras that are here. There's not a particular rush, I think, at this moment of taking care of them. Um, and we'll be able to gather up the knowledge we really need. We'll be able to cook. Oh my gosh, think about how proud Neon will be to be able to be such an expert cook. And we can actually go ahead and get the fishing started over here too, so that we can gather up what we need there. We can put out the dispensary somewhere. Oh, this is wonderful. Zoom on. All right, come here, Zoom on. I need you to go ahead and deploy the camp on that hill, please. And then I'm going to have Irene Mo go ahead and deploy their dispensary right here. That's going to be very important to do um, pretty much immediately. And then we're going to go ahead. We need probably our sawmill out somewhere. Our cookhouse. Our cookhouse could really go anywhere, to be honest, <laughs> um, because it doesn't need to be in any one particular location. Hmm. Yeah, our cookhouse could basically go anywhere. So why not put it maybe over by the auras? Because it really doesn't matter where the cookhouse is. Uh, and I'll have Neon actually take the cookhouse and take care of that. So Neon, you come over here. You're a little bit faster than the rest. Come build your cookhouse out of the way. I'm sure that makes sense. She wants, she wants a nice comfy spot to be and we don't have to worry too much because she doesn't need to go get resources to do the cooking. And then... Where's my best woodcutter? All right, let's see. Zoom on, you're doing work. Irene Mo is one of the best builders of the tribe. And then, oh, Kalui, Kalui, you go ahead and you start hunting, please. And then Relly, are you the best woodcutter? I mean, you're getting up there. You need to be next to the sawmill to really gather up a lot of those resources. Oh, Relly is really good at pepkin gathering, so let's come do pepkin gathering. Oh wait, we need to wait until we have the campsite up, so everybody go! Oh wait, 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 I can, while we're waiting for the campsite, we can go ahead and have some explorers! All right, pepkin won't do any exploring because pepkin is stubborn, but Relly can actually come over and do some exploring, or Let's see, Neon is being a builder. No one! No one, come do some exploring. You have a good bond with fish. And now, rodents are coming and humidity in 155 turns. The air is heavy with humidity. Forests become jungles. Crossing a bog or a jungle will make a pupil unwell. Unable to dry fish and meat. Pupils have stopped harvesting them. Oh, wow. Okay, so we know humidity is going to be coming in like 155 um days which again is insight from our wonderful druid irene mo who is setting up his druid tent i like to imagine all right and meanwhile rally you come and do some exploring over all the way here please that's gonna be oh and then we won't have our hard worker do any exploring until camp is built unfortunately oh and look at this no one such a good adventure Oh, it looks like there's another aura somewhere over here. All right, no one, come on. Continue to explore over here, please. There we go. Camp is being constructed in one more day. Excellent. Relly, if you could continue your search over here. <gasps> wow. Oh, dang it. We lost some, some bits and bobs. <gasps> Look at this! Oh, that is so cool! It is a protective aura of Pepkin! I can't believe that! That is amazing! Oh, I think Pepkin! It's like Pepkin's protective aura! I love it! Oh my gosh! Okay, Pepkin's gonna love that. Um, meanwhile... Irene Mo has leveled up on being a engineer! From getting all of the things, like, built and... 
and packed out from being able to set up and put down his tent as often as he has. So Irene Mo, let's go ahead and we'll have plus 10 knowledge per harvest cycle for mobile buildings constructed by this pupil. Oh, that would have been so cool. More compact seemed to be more important all along, but we'll just unlock that just because we can. All right, so now everybody should be able to have work to do. Irene Mo, you are immediately my friend going to go ahead and start collecting well you actually start working on some potions you do some collecting first and we'll want to get potions out soon zoom on you come over here and please oh we're out of steel ah, we really need that steel huh is there any steel so far there is no ore so far Ooh, we would have to trade for that okay so we don't have any ore Let's think this through. Zuman, what, what else can you do? You could build that sawmill, which I have a feeling we will probably need to some extent at some point. Hmm. I mean, we could try to gather up the wool. Whoops. All right, come here. Zoom on. I don't want you to build the sawmill now. I changed my mind because <laughs> I need these resources. Thank you very much. I guess there's plenty of pepkin, to be honest. So I guess I could go ahead and we could put out the market and then we could try to get the steel from the market. But steel is really difficult to grab. I think we're better off working on some other things right now. So Irene, I'm going to have you come and put down a hunting lodge. Oh wait, we can't do that yet. Ah, you know what, we, we should put down the sawmill. I feel like the sawmill is probably pretty important. Um, because, I mean, there is a lot of pepkin. Because that is gonna help us to clear a whole bunch of the jungle here. We'll put down the sawmill over here. And then pepkin, I'm going to have you you're actually one of our best woodcutters. So I'm actually going to have Pepkin gather normal wood for now. And I think that gives everybody a job. Irene Mo. Relly is exploring for us, and so is Neon. Let's see what they find. Steel, yes! Good job, Neon. A little bit more exploring, please. Relly, a little bit more exploring. All right, Neon. Or excuse me. Oh, N Neon, you need to come over here. And, uh, oh, no, no, no one needs to go over there. And Neon, you need to actually come over here and start working on Hunter's Stew so that we can stay ahead on our food, please. And then meanwhile, Relly, you do a little bit more adventuring here. Oh my gosh, there are so many places we can gather wool. And an eclipse is coming soon. Let's see. As the pupils spend another hard day harvesting and exploring, a moon passes in front of a star and shivers the plains. When daylight returns, the tribe finds that soothed auras are protective again. Well, I'm glad I haven't bothered soothing them yet. But all right, so Relly is now ready for something to do as well. Um, and what we really need to work on is knowledge. Can Relly get any kind of knowledge? They can when they are gathering. So I'm kind of tempted once Zuman finishes building to come maybe over here somewhere, like maybe here and put in a pepkin gathering spot because there are so many pepkin everywhere. Yeah, I might do that. In fact, I might put it right over here. I hate to use up one of the two fertile plains, but there's a couple others that if we really wanted to do some farming, we could. Uh, so really you come over and for now, my dear, you go ahead and gather some pumpkin over here. And then Irene Mo is still gathering up the spices. I think I might have him start soothing maybe the pepkin aura. We'll start that now. And then everybody should still be okay. All right, fingers crossed. Yay, good job, Zuman. So Zuman has finished with the sawmill. Uh, oh, Noen! Hey, Noen's done exploring! Good job, Noen! Oh wait, you missed a couple spots, but, uh, I mean, I'm sure that's okay, Noen. <laughs> There's a bog. I'm gonna have Noen come over here, just for a second. Zoom on. I'm gonna have Zoom on actually build a harvest hut. Uh, maybe a mobile harvest hut? 
how much is a mobile harvest hut that we can kind of move around I mean there's not a lot of stone so I do want to be cautious with using our stone so far we've only found one little patch of steel so actually going the other path would be pretty much impossible in my opinion um, but at the same time zoom on what's your special upgrades Minus 50% to upgrade cost, minus 50% to repair cost when repairs are instant. Mobile buildings are more compact, minus 50% to construction cost, and you can carry something with you. Um, let's do normal wood. <laughs> and then we'll just work from there. There we go. We'll put this here. And then we'll soothe the pepkin aura and begin gathering mini pepkins. Ooh, the big the eclipse I think is happening. Oh, overwork. The, uh, the work may be too intense, or is it a warning from the spirits? Each pupil who works in harvesting, production, or construction becomes sick. So in five days, we all need to take a break. She's uh, Look! Oh, it's so cute! I mean, Mo, I can't believe it! I love her gigantic golden pepkin! <laughs> the land of gigantic golden pepkins. It, that just feels extremely appropriate to be in for some reason. And look at all of the food we are gathering! I am pretty happy about this. Also, we need to get a hunter's lodge down, I think. No, 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 I think we're okay. Uh, well, we might want to start working on that eventually. We, we'll, we'll work on it, we'll work on it. But all right, my friends, we're here. The land of the golden pepkin is what I'm going to proclaim this area. We need to work at getting tons and tons of extra food. So I'm gonna aim for around 2,800-ish food. We're going to try to get all of that knowledge gathered up, which really I'm gonna need Irene Mode to actually be doing that now that I'm thinking about it. And I think, is he the only one who can permanently soothe his auras? Yeah, he can permanently soothe the auras at least. Um, and then we're also going to want to just keep going. Builder 3 is all we would need. So our wonderful Zuman needs to stay alive and happy and healthy. And we're going to have to protect Zuman with everything we have. It turns out that he is the chosen one. But all right, my friends, if you could, do please leave a like for our little tribe. I can't believe... Hopefully, fingers crossed, it looks like their adventure and journey might come to a fruitful end. No pun intended because of the giant, you know, golden pumpkin. But, oh, I'm so excited for this. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.